Hey guys, it's Ani. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys had a great week. It's Sunday. Finally get to relax and chill out until the new week starts. And it's almost Thanksgiving, so that's something to look forward to. But today I wanted to show you guys my fall obsessions. Also, I am a little sick, so I'm so sorry if I sound a little weird, but bear with me here. <laughs> first things I want to show you guys were my makeup and beauty um, obsessions that I've had this fall. So I'm going to start off with uh, face two face masks that I've been loving. The first one is a peel off clay mask. It is the Freeman Feeling Beautiful Clearing Sweet Tea and Lemon Peel Off Mask. It's easy to peel and it instantly removes, it removes impurities and tones for radiant skin. It's for normal to combo skin. Um, and my Ruby and I have been using this since the beginning of school in August. There's still a lot left and we both use it um, all the time. I love it. And I think it's just a really nice, easy go-to mask. It takes 10 to 15 minutes to dry and then you just peel it off. I personally think it might take a little bit longer from experience, but honestly, it's not that big of a deal. It's really nice and I love the way my skin feels after I peel it off, so that's awesome. Then the next mask I have is not a peel off mask, it's more, it's a sheet mask, that's what it's called, and it's from Victoria's Secret Pink. I've already used two of these, and I absolutely love them, they made my face feel really um, moisturized. This is the About Last Night face mask, fake it till you wake up with blueberry. I just thought this was really cute, maybe like after, in the morning or at, late at night, when I'm not feeling the best with my skin, I just pop this on for 15 minutes. And then after that you just massage it into your face, the excess um, liquid that's on your face, and it's really awesome. The next beauty product I have was my new favorite mascara. It is just the Maybelline The Colossal Volume Express Mascara. And as you guys can as you guys can see, there you go. It's like the regular applicator, it's pretty thick. Um, I absolutely love it. It's obviously in the color black because I want my lashes to be thick, dark, and long, and that's exactly what this mascara gives me. And the last beauty product I have is this nail polish by Essie. It is the shade Ballet Slippers, and the number is 96. I do know that this is probably not fall for most of you guys, like, looking at this, you're like, what the heck? But since I am in college and I can't get my nails done as often as I would like, I think that a nice baby pink or like clearish pink um, is really nice and clean on your nails. So that is it for my makeup section. Now I'm going to move on to snacking and I decided to put snacking in this video because I am a college student as I say 10 million times in a video um, but I just feel like it's pretty useful. Um, these are kind of more healthier options I would say. They're not really snack like junk food options which is really good and I feel like it's definitely a little bit harder to be healthier while you're at college, especially snacking in your dorm. I know that I have cravings for like crap food all the time. So these are great, great, great substitutions for those bad junk food cravings. Um, so the first thing I want to show you guys were these pom poms, wonderful pomegranate seeds. And I personally love snacking on chips or something crunchy, so these are a great substitution for it. They are so much like healthier for you, which is awesome, and I don't even worry about how much I eat because honestly, it says serving size, it's for a half cup, it's only 70 calories, and that might actually be a lot, but it's so good for you. There's, it's not like... I don't know, they're so good for you, it doesn't even matter. Just like eat the whole thing. <laughs> um, so these are a great like crunchy snack if you're looking for that. They're also like sweet and sour, so that's awesome. It's like having candy. So that's a huge plus. I've been loving these lately. Then the next thing I wanted to show you guys that I usually have in the mornings if I'm running late and I can't go to um, my dining halls, I will just quickly heat up one of these instant oatmeals Quake by Quaker. It's the maple and brown sugar um, flavored ones. That's my absolute favorite. I absolutely love oatmeal. I've been eating it ever since like I was younger. I don't even remember when I started eating it. It's just like my go-to breakfast meal. So I love, love, love having oatmeal in the morning. 
and it's only 180 calories for this and it does fill me up I go to my class for like two hours and then I might get lunch after but it's pretty good if you have a shorter class and you just want to put something in your stomach early in the morning then for another snacking oh, oh my god are they mowing the lawn right now they're mowing the lawn The last snacking I wanted to show you, snack thing that I want to show you guys was Skinny Pop. I'm sure you guys know what Skinny Pop is. If you don't, it's just a healthier version of popcorn. Um, I absolutely love this. I love popcorn, but I hate when it's too salty. And this is really good for you. Not, oh my god, it's not like really good for you, but it's a great alternative. It is 100 calories for this whole bag, which honestly they do fill it up. Like there's a lot in here, I'm not gonna lie. But there is, it's non-GMO, it's gluten-free, there's no artificial ingredients. It is, honestly, it's not bad for you, so this is a great snacking tip. Also, it's not really as filling if you're looking for something filling, but it's definitely a nice, like, lying in bed, watching Netflix, snacking food. Last thing that I want to show you guys are my two favorite coffees at the moment that I use in my Keurig here in my dorm room. Um, so I use the pumpkin spice and the hazelnut flavored coffees from Victor Allen's coffee I got these at Harmon's um, when I went home for fall break Honestly, I only got this brand just because it was the only ones there and they had huge boxes of them And they're not bad. The pumpkin spice isn't my favorite one that I've had of pumpkin spice flavored coffee But honestly, it's not too bad I don't know if I would recommend it. The hazelnut is amazing. I absolutely love this one. Um, but I want to show you guys the pumpkin spice one just because it's fall and I do drink it a lot too. Um, so I would usually pop one of these in in the morning before class into the Keurig. Then I would put a hazelnut creamer on top. Like not on top, you mix it in. You guys know what I mean. Um, even for the pumpkin spice one, I would still use a hazelnut creamer just because I love hazelnut flavored coffee so much. It's so good. Um, so moving on from food, I'm gonna go into my clothing and accessories. Um, so I'll start off with my hats. I've been obsessed with hats lately. Um, so I decided to start wearing hats, especially because I am getting sick and I need to keep warm and I don't wanna be sick when I go home for Thanksgiving and I definitely don't wanna be sick in mixed classes. So wearing a hat literally can make all the difference. My mom always says that and I definitely believe it now. It, it keeps you so warm it's awesome so this hat I got from the store I work at at home it's called Lulu Bell if you guys live in New Jersey and have little kids or are a little kid definitely go check it out um, this is my favorite hat ever obviously you don't have to be a little kid to wear it I am 18 and I absolutely love it they have such cute accessories there too so what's cool about this hat oh, there we go you can pop off the pom-poms like it's a it's a button that you can snap them off and you can exchange like you can put different pom-poms on the top so like if you're feeling a little bit crazier you can put a pink one I have a rainbow one that I don't really know where it is right now but I do have a rainbow one that I pop on this is just um, a grayish blue blackish colored one that I absolutely love it's really classic it's goes with a lot <laughs> Um, so this is obviously really cool. It's so awesome that you can just pop that off. So if you do live in New Jersey or Florida, there are Lulu Bells in Naples and in Closter, New Jersey. So you guys should go check them out. They have awesome accessories and I love it there. Then the next hat that I have is from my college. If you do go to college, I'm sure you can just get a hat like this anywhere, even if you don't. Um, so I've been obsessed with this. I literally have worn it every day. I look like horrendous now but it's fine it's all good so I've literally worn this every day of the week since I've gotten it and I plan on wearing this on Saturday here at um, Ithaca we're having Cortica which if you don't know what that, what that means it's just a big huge football game here and everyone gets really excited it's gonna be awesome you guys should go check out my Instagram at Ana Yulis because I will definitely be posting some stories and pictures from that day and I'll show you guys what I wear with this hat so the next thing of clothes that I want to show you guys was this skirt. If you have watched my fall haul, which if you haven't, you definitely should. The link will be in the description box <laughs> down below. But um, I got three things from that that I've been obsessed with ever since I bought them. And the first thing is this corduroy skirt. 
I know you guys are probably thinking like what the heck is she talking about it's getting cold out but this with thigh highs and like I wore it with um, a black tight long sleeve shirt with a vest over it I posted a picture on my Instagram again you guys should go check it out and see how I style my outfits and everything um, but I just think this is super cute I'm probably definitely actually yeah I'm definitely gonna be wearing this for Thanksgiving so you guys should keep an eye out for my Thanksgiving get ready with me video and I'm obsessed with this I just absolutely love it so this is from Aerie I absolutely love it just a light pink chunky sweater and I think it's super cute I absolutely love it I layer it with vests necklaces scarves super cute awesome love it then the last sweater or clothing item that I got was also my haul. Um, this is from Ruby and Jenna and it's just a chunky chunky gray sweater with huge sleeves and it is absolutely adorable. This is my go-to sweater. I absolutely love this sweater. I've been wearing it so much and you guys will know that if you do follow me on Instagram you see that I post so many stories in it and I absolutely love it. The next two things that I want to show you guys are two pairs of shoes. I wear these Ugg slippers literally 24-7 here at college. They are just so easy to slide on and it's awesome obviously when it's cold out. Then for a nicer shoe that I have are the, the love of my life. These are my black thigh high boots. They are super cute. They match everything. I just think black thigh highs or like any type of thigh high boot just makes an outfit so much better it just like you automatically go from like a 5 to 10 no matter what outfit you're wearing so these are a huge 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 fall and winter necessity to me all right then i wanted to move into more technology entertainment music stuff like that um so my newest obsession is my laptop case look how beautiful it is i'm so happy with it I ordered it off of Amazon and I will have the link down below if you guys want to look at it. There's also a back to it and I just think it's awesome. And the last things I wanted to share with you guys for my fall obsessions were some of my TV show obsessions. I'm obsessed, obsessed, obsessed with Stranger Things. As I'm sure you guys know if you don't live under a rock, Stranger Things season 2 came out and I had never watched it, so once I heard all the hype about the second season, I was like, I have to see what this is about. So I watched the first season in literally two days over the weekend. It was amazing. You guys should definitely go check it out if you haven't already. I started the second season. I'm very excited about it, and it is so good. Definitely go check that out. Then the next TV show that I'm obsessed with is Riverdale. That also just came out season two I believe yeah season two so good it's getting better I didn't love the first episode and second one was kind of like eh but I feel like the third one's really getting more into it also been so obsessed with wearing my glasses lately not only because my contacts have been killing me but I don't know something about wearing glasses I feel so comfortable like I just I just don't have to worry about my contacts so glasses are like very in lately and I'm loving it <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I hope these become some of your fall obsessions. If you liked anything in particular, please comment down below what you guys liked or what you guys want to see in the future from me. Um, I hope you guys have a great week and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.